Hello everyone and welcome to I am MS Excel Expert tutorial series. Today is day 35 and today we are going to work on how to actually open an Outlook and send an email using the VB or macro, right? Okay, so let's start. Uh, before we start, if you're actually new to the uh, channel, please subscribe to the channel and let's go. So the way we have been doing is actually create a button for every VBA. So we'll just create a button over here and I can say um, Outlook email or something like that. Okay, I'll say new. It will take us to the new module. I'll start writing from here. The first one we have to, you know, open uh, Outlook, right? So this is what we have to do. So I'll just create a dim where uh, I'll say oh, Outlook as uh, object. And in fact, before that, we just make sure that we have the uh, Outlook available reference available over here. So you can see as of now it is not available. So I'll just go and click that so that would be something like Microsoft Outlook 16 object library so this is the one you can see so the number 16 wouldn't matter as of now so whatever highest number you have on your system you can actually take that so in my system we have Microsoft Outlook 16.0 object library so that's the one I'm going to select so that's actually a reference where VBA is actually utilizing that to open and contact Outlook so this is what we are going to as of now we are actually going to open outlook how we are going to do it is uh, we are going to create a dim as a object and then set uh, o outlook as uh, create item or create object and that would be a uh, outlook application right so this statement is going to open my outlook now i want to open a email so that would be something like again i want to create an object but i want to create this object inside my outlook which i have just opened so that would be uh, inside o outlook i want to create item and that item would be well mail item right so this item i want to create so this will actually going to open my outlook first and then uh, open a new email so inside this new email what i'm going to do with this new email first i want to send it to someone so that would be let's say my name or my email address nishant gcn1 <coughs> at the rate gmail.com sorry now once I have this ready with me, I'm going to uh, write a subject for this email. So the subject could be, uh, let's say this is, this is a test email, right? Now, after I have written the subject, I want to write the body part of the email where I want to say that, thanks for creating, uh, day 35 video right so once we have this is done so so now I can actually send it like that or before I send it I can actually display it how this is going to look so I'll just stop this send part as of now and once I'm done with this I'll say end with so once my email part is done uh, Right, so what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do with the email is, uh, I'm going to send it to Nishant ggn one at the gmail.com. That's my official email address. And if you have any queries or any questions, you can actually email me on that. Uh, in the subject, I want to write, this is the test email. In the body part, I want to write, thanks for creating day 35 video. And then I want to display the email before actually I send it. So I want to actually manually send it before, uh, you know, I, I confirm that everything in the email is actually okay. Now, once this is done, I want to make sure that the email is set to nothing and uh, Outlook is set to nothing, right? So that means they are clear. So that means uh, what I'm going to do here is clear the items or you can say objects. Now my email is set to nothing and my Outlook is. So this way we are actually freeing the 
uh, space as well in case we have an error so we have an error handler as well which is actually blank right so this is the way this is the simplest example uh, by which we can actually open an outlook open then an email compose that email and then send it to uh, the uh, to to nishan whatever the email address you have so i want to highlight here guys that you know this portion where we have this two or you can say the subject or you can say the body part so all these things we can actually manually do that for example if uh, you know i have this uh, nishan tgn1 at red gmail.com somewhere written in my excel then uh, for example this is my excel somewhere here it is written so i can always refer to this particular uh, address as a range and then send it right so you can have multiple email addresses as well in this one and the range whatever you have so as of now we have we are not doing any attachment part over here just in case so in my next video the plan is uh, to send let's say uh, you know uh, one table and one chart in an email so that you know you are familiar with how to send it and in the further next video we are going to cover how to send multiple tables and multiple charts so let's test this code uh, I'm going to run it right now so I just ran it and let's see so yeah you can see right now the email part is displaying on the screen where we have the email address in the two we have this is a test email and then thanks for creating day 35 video I can send it or I can cancel it right so since this is a test email so I'm going to cancel it so this is the way guys uh, to send an email using an outlook via VBA or macro if you like this video please uh, hit the like button subscribe to the channel and thank you so much bye bye